Hey DaVinci Resolve users, I want to add to my last project where I flew through some 3D text into this drone scene, which was really cool, but I want to up it a little bit and add some reflection maps to 3D text so we get the atmosphere around there reflected onto the 3D text itself, and it's going to look a little something like this. So you haven't watched my 3D video where I zoom through the 3D text, go ahead and click on the link in the description and that'll get you started with creating the node tree for the actual project. But let's go ahead and take some 3D text and create a reflection map so we can see the atmosphere around us in the text. So right now I just have that 3D word and saying exploration and it looks really terrible. So what I wanna do is create a reflection map which represents the actual scene and so we can get some lifelike 3D text in our scenes. So starting with that 3D text, I have this media in, so I have my image already set up and this is the atmosphere I wanna reflect. What we wanna do first is we're gonna create a blur with this material. So I'm gonna hit shift space bar and go ahead and use a blur here. And I'm going to take that media out and put it into the blur. And we're going to blur it up just a little bit. I've got 8.7. I think that looks pretty good. You don't want this too sharp or your reflection is going to look like kind of like a mirror. And I think that doesn't look very realistic, even with a chrome text. Let's go ahead next. We're going to put in a sphere map. So go ahead and hit shift space bar again. And we're going to use this map right here. And so let's take a look at this map. That's looking pretty good. And so now I want to do a reflect base here. So hit a shift space bar again and just start typing reflect here. So this is a 3RR is what you want to use here. So we want to take this out of this background material and go into the reflection color material. And so let's take a look at that. And I need to change this face on strength up quite a bit. I'm going to go up to one there and we can change the fall off here just a little bit. If you want it to be really chrome like you can go up to four here. I'm going to go down just a little bit. And so this is the glancing strength and you can see what that does to our edge there. And we're going to have a little bit of light in this scene. So I want to have a little bit of glancing here strength on the edge of this material. If you're going to be in a darker scene, you might want to bump this up a little bit more, but I need a little bit of that white along the edge there. Now I want to add a ward material. I'm going to hit the shift space bar again, and I'm going to use a ward here. So let's go ahead and break this connection. I actually want to go into the color material here from this reflect. Let's look at this ward, see what it's looking like. I need to do one more thing with this reflect base. So actually what I wanted to do here was go into the color material here, but I want to also take another copy of this map and go into the reflect base here, into the specular. And so that's looking pretty good. So I'm liking what I see there. Now I have a pretty good material here. Let's take a look and see what that looks like with my text. Here's with the before text here. You can see that's looking actually really horrible. And so when I add my word in there into the replace material here and look at that on the screen, that's looking quite a bit better. And so let's take a look at that rendered material then. I want to go back into the scene a little bit and that's pretty good. And so we're getting that reflection from the light there. And so we have to decide if we want the light, if we have the sun behind us, that's probably something that we want to keep in there. I'm going to go ahead and break that for now. And I'm going to turn off, go to my render 3d here and just turn off enable lighting. Cause I want to just control it on the actual ward material up here. And that's pretty good. Okay, so what we want to do, one more thing on the sphere map here, there are some settings here and we can change the order and we can adjust where that, that map gets placed on that text itself. So if we go down, you can start to see some more of the ground material there. We can just get a different reflective look there. And those options, those, those qualities can be animated there. But in this case, my 3D text is moving through the scene. So we are going to get some natural animation on this reflective surface here. 
So it's going to look like I'm animating it. I think that's looking pretty good there. Uh, so usually a Chrome material, let me show you the difference here. Go ahead and break that. Open up my templates and I'll go down here to this materials and let's just add a Chrome. So if I did something like that, you can see how really bad that looks. It just really unnatural into the scene here. Uh, it is a Chrome. There's just nothing to reflect back. It's kind of empty space, just a white reflection. We are getting some a little bit of reflection on the edges. That's really about it. So to me, that chrome needs to have a reflection map or it's really just not going to look good at all. So looking at mine, that kind of really depicts what's around the scene here. And it's giving that reflection. Yeah, so I think that's looking excellent. And here's the final scene. And this reflection map can be used in a number of different ways. Here's a scene I created using an HDRI map and I'm creating that reflection into the text itself, which is really fantastic. So DaVinci Resolve is really great at producing 3D effects into your 2D scene, which can be seen here with this project. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments below. And I appreciate you guys taking a look at this. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Take care, everybody.